Whoa, how y'all doing out there? This is your man, Nico B. This is the Black Effect, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Sorry I left y'all, you know. It's been a little bit, you know. Trying to, you know, working on, uh, been working hard, been trying to eat right, you know what I'm saying? Eat a little better, been feeling a little uh, ran down, you know, as of late. So I really hadn't done too many videos. I'm going to ramp it up. Uh, try to ramp it up for y'all this week though you know what i'm saying because depending on what you know what comes up this is more organic but uh let me get into this quick man uh i just wanna like in 2020 coming up us as black in the black community have to smarten up and when it comes to these we have to start canceling we have to create a new culture what that means is, is that a lot of things that we thought that we foolishly, without knowledge, thought that were cool, thought that were conducive for life, thought that were um, the tell-all, be-all, our only options. Pardon me. Thought that was our thought. If you thought that was your only options in life, we gotta pull away from that. You know what I'm saying? We got to get off of that. And honestly, us as, uh, us as black men and women, we have a lot of things that need canceling in the culture. You know, what I mean, what do I mean by that? Like, things that are negative, that are negatively affecting the community. Number one, I can go on and on in the list. Thinking that selling dope is cool. That needs to be done. You know, any, you know, any type of illegal activity, trying to sell somebody some pills, leave that to the pharmaceutical, leave, leave that to somebody else, man. You ain't got to do it. You know, we've had made excuses like, well, somebody going to fulfill the need, the need. Listen, you going to fulfill the need and end up in one of them, them traps, i.e. the grave or i.e. jail. You know what I'm saying? So I'd advise you, man, you know, it's a million ways to skin a cat. If you're trying to get money, you can go earn money. Now we live in a society, you know, where you can do whatever you want. You know, so you can go earn money. We we fought for this. People fought for this for you. So you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you still have shades of white supremacy and things like that, but what I'm telling you is how we're gonna or how we're gonna knock it out. Is how we're gonna finalize um that era of white supremacy and things like that. And now it's going to be a shift. But the thing is, we don't never want to forget history because we don't, you're doomed to repeat it. We don't never want to forget it, but we're going to stay vigilant. But we're going to uh, just pretty much, it's going to be a time if, if, if people listen, if more black folks start being productive, getting the most high God in their life, learning their true purpose and getting on that purpose. They'll start, you see his black billionaires been happening like this and, you know, now they'll have generational wealth. They kids will. You're going to start seeing more intermingling. You know, race, white folks can't run away enough. It's going to be black people moving into those communities. They're going to have to live around and they got to live together. It's going to be like that. God doesn't like that this all is, you know, running off. And Now, I don't have no problems with a person wanting to, you know, maintain their own family and, and their culture like if you want to be if you're white and you want to maintain that um that's not i don't consider that to be white supremacy everyone has their preference and wants to maintain their culture even god is tribal even he likes you know these different i like the diversity of people in the great in ethnic groups i like that but um it's just when you're oppressing another one lying to another group but yeah black people we, we need to we realize that it's foolish to um but all of these all of these rappers man listening to rap culture we should see that as being like wrestling like how wrestling we know that it's fake we find it for purely entertainment you know what i'm saying we don't consider those people to be like that uh like medieval times when they leave the, the white knight or the red knight is is not um an evil guy i'm not gonna assault him in the parking lot we need to accept rap like that. And for you rappers, this goes for, you know, for male and female, but for you male rappers, y'all need to drop all of that. I'm the kingpin running around here with the bricks and the chicks and the flicks. Y'all niggas ain't doing it like that. 
We know it ain't no more real gangsters left. We know that. So I don't want to hear no more of that dumb shit. Now, I don't care if you came up and your daddy was 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 in the streets or your uncle was in the streets and you may have, you know what I'm saying, uh, stole a candy bar out of the store, man. That's just child mischief. I don't want to hear none of this foolishness, man. Okay? Stop it, because y'all are the ones perpetuating it, man. And still, y'all are like the simps. And I realize that the rappers are the simps in the community, a lot of them. Like, not just the rappers, just the the, the so-called wannabe thug. And, and he's the simp, because he's running around having kids everywhere. Running around when he only can only can try to use his gun. Nigga can't use his hands, you know what I'm saying? A real man to just grab him and shake him and break him and take him and flip him. Throw his ass away. You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro. Nigga can even have a gun. Nigga just grab that shit and, man, give me that. Bunga, because they so weak you know they've only if only if you never cultivate like man actions and things like that and skills you know and that's this culture teaching you that you only have to sleep with women spread your seed and things like that and it's not just the totally the black man's fault for having that the culture up to this point it's due to white supremacy and him just unleashing the black man uh, upon the earth after slavery and and, and the mental mind the the mental destruction that was uh done to him from this society so but uh like i'm saying though uh one thing we have to do man and this is real one thing we have to do is is just get rid of this culture of of negativity you know thotting thotting like black women is looked at as the thoughts of the earth at this point and they need they need to leave that to the white woman black every time you see a black woman taking a picture she's showing her ass or bending over or doing that's not where your beauty lies black woman you know what i'm saying you're supposed to be the queen on the earth and you out here you know what i'm saying adopting this whole culture out in the women all out in the strip clubs you know what i'm saying wasting money throwing them putting their face in other women booty to some blah, 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 just wasting money Y'all need to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are part of this destructive culture. The women in our community, they, see, and this is how you can tell because rap music is reflective of the culture, but this is how you can tell. Look at, it was said that men were the one objectifying women when it came to rap music and what they said about them. Okay, what is your excuse now when you have women who have their foot on the throttle? Megan the Stallion, uh, uh, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was the the, the progenitor for this generation of these fake, um, thought, um, bisexual women. Plastic Barbie, black women want to be Barbie. What kind of foolishness is that? You should want to be something else. Why you want to be Barbie? Like you know, she's white. We know that. But anyway, uh, you know. They want to make Barbie like fucking Bosley, like she just whatever she want to be, like it's a like it's a code name. But that's neither her nor there. Like, but like I said, they're objectifying themselves now. The women are objectifying themselves in the culture. It's not black men doing this anymore. You know, it's not just black men. It's it's women objectifying themselves. So that goes to show you that black women have to, to do some self-reflecting too and drop the negativity their negative aspects of the culture baby mamaism we should develop a culture that shuns that we hate that you know because black men now you finna start seeing a lot of of course a lot of black men not gonna be getting married to black women and a lot of these things gonna be going on because of the this askew gap you got too many black uh, some black men who, who don't have children they don't want to get with women who got a bunch of kids Damn! Now they gotta answer that, and it costs money. It's 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 not a and baby daddy drama. We don't want to do that. So we abandoning the negative the negative culture, man. Black culture is not gonna be synonymous with rap culture anymore. Not gonna be synonymous with hood culture because you got too many dudes, too many black uh strong black men outside of hip hop and entertainment on YouTube. You know, in all walks of life, real men giving you game wisdom knowledge you know what i'm saying um uh, living a good you know living a good life out here showing you giving you an example of how to do it 
You know what I'm saying? Staying away from these thoughts and getting you a decent woman, man. So you can find a wife. You When you're too busy chasing thoughts like the rappers tell you to do, you're not going to be able to find no wife, man. You got too much time. You, you're spending too much time and money on these thoughts. That's the problem with you niggas. You niggas are going to the strip club and make a whole brick of... Be a whole day's worth of money rain, whole weeks worth of money rain on a chick that you don't know, but you won't go invest in your woman's business so or invest in upgrading her. Go get her, go get her whole her uh spa day. You know what I'm saying? Get her pamper to get her uh, uh the the highest gym subscription she can get. You pay for it, fool. You know what I'm saying? If you want her to uh be in shape. You pay for you take them stacks you spend it on 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 uh boom quisha nigga a bitch who ain't got no love for your ass who will set your monkey ass up if the need be who really want what you got she wants your resources these women are smart that's why I respect but I respect boom quisha though cause see boom quisha ain't got no love for you niggas you niggas think that you know that it's sweet she's trying to just get your you know what I'm saying what she what she need to get you know y'all niggas is in love. Damn, son, it's, 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 that's what A-Ball said. And then he got on that Teela song, nigga, niggas in love, all in the club, all in the whole face. But right after Paper Chase, whatever you had will be erased. I seen him in the back, counting up that cheddar, talking loud, chief and hate, making clouds, getting ready for the crowd. That's why Teela, that whole song that Teela did, Show Enough is what the song is called. Y'all little young niggas, go look that up. Show Enough, like with Jazzy Faye. That whole song was about hoes in the club, you know what I'm saying? These these simp ass niggas in the club tricking on these hoes who really shouldn't, you know, who don't deserve it. Like who or who really, you know, uh, they just all out to get your paper, man. Like, and you got women who follow in the black culture now. The black culture, you got women who want to go to the strip club and, and and fall into this shit too. Pay your money, waste your money, nothing but a waste. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, and then these same chicks, y'all be tripping when, you know what I'm saying? Your, your man is in there, I got his face. Y'all putting out, all, all of y'all paying her. All of y'all paying. So she's doubling up on y'all, doing a lot better than y'all. And I ain't mad at her on that, but y'all motherfuckers are stupid and quit. But what y'all perpetuate is a negative cycle. Y'all don't get how that's negative, but everything you're doing has a, a cause and effect. Whatever you're doing, it's you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be positive or negative. Y'all try to act like y'all don't see that, like y'all dumb. Like black people, in, like we just over like black women in this culture. They love to adopt the L, jump, get, act like they down with everything. They, they don't have no high moral standards to just put their foot down by and large. Because if they did, then, you know, it would, we wouldn't have all this. So we know that that's the case. The ones, the good women, the ones that y'all talking about, they just, they, they don't even say anything. Like, or they don't have a high enough, a, a strong enough voice. Because not a lot of them. Or they just get away from y'all. But for y'all women who are here, you know, champion, uh, going out to these strip clubs, championing LGBT behavior. Y'all loving all of this, you know, this LGBT behavior and stuff and whole culture. Y'all helping it grow. So now when it grows, it's going to, y'all love it till it affects y'all and y'all, y'all situation. But see what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to be inevitable to do that. And when y'all talking about y'all black women, so black women love to hang around gay men in this culture. And, and oh yes, girl, yes, all this dumb shit. But when it comes to when, you know, but they want to, when it comes to the first thing they want to say to shame a black man is, ah, you gay, you gay. You, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you dick little. Or some stupid shit like that. Chick ain't even seen your penis. These, you, 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 you raped somebody or you a rapist. These are the shame. These are only, you know, as men, these are not just black. See, the black men shame tactics that you gay. But see, if that's a shame tactic you want to use against black men, well, as gay men should, should be looking at y'all in disgust and not being down with y'all because... Is it, you know, how are you shaming something that you supposed to be down with? You love it. You always kicking it with gay men. You have nothing but gay friends. So you can't shame something you love. If I was, you know, if, if, if one of these gay men need to look and, and really put an actual eye and use their brain on this and, and see that you're just really a hypocrite. You don't know. That's why you have black men jumping from clit to dick to clit to dick. Women, period, thinking they could do that because of men. Because men have allowed that to go on. That's why. But, uh, you know, but we as black men never was down with all that is what I to my point to get to say all that did to this. We were never down with the LGBT. We all had to a higher moral standard as being the uh, 
the uh, chosen of the most high God. You should hold yourself to a holy standard, a higher standard. You calling yourself a king and a queen. Being a king and a queen, you have to earn it. You have to earn the moniker of king and a queen. And everybody can't be a king and a queen. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this rep, the culture up into two, up into this point of black culture, which is synonymous with rap culture, we need to wipe out and delete like you do a, a, a hard drive. You know what I'm saying? Wipe it out, delete it, and go back and get learn your true history. Now, I mean, you don't have to delete everything. I mean, delete everything that... What you need to do is assess what's negative, what you, and then assess what's helped you, and delete all of the negative. But if you got your culture and you um, adopt your culture with, from rap and hip hop and entertainment, love and hip hop, reality TV, delete all of that. Stop watching that stuff for a while. Stop listening to rap for a while. Stop. Uh, uh, start reading your Bible. Getting you know, getting real truths of life. Start learning more about yourself. You know, go off and be alone. Get away from your friends and they influence and, and, and thought influence. Get away from that. And we ha and, and then you come back to the community and you'll, you'll find yourself around a different company in the black community. And we're going to change the narrative at this time. It's time to, um, um, to change the culture. And like I said, show y'all, you know, and show everybody that, you know, that, that all that other stuff. No, that is nothing cool about that. You know what I'm saying? Getting money is cool. Taking care of your own family is cool. Living a long life is cool. Getting to the end for Christ is cool. That's what we're supposed to be doing in our life. Not only is it cool, it's productive. And it, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll keep you from these traps. So with that being said, man, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. You know what it is.